Jamie Charlatan, wanted for multiple accounts of manslaughter, has recently escaped from the Newton County Jail. He is believed to be unarmed, but is dangerous. Jamie Charlatan can be identified by a birthmark on the left side of his neck. Authorities advise the public to keep their doors locked and their children attended to. This is Channel 3 News coming to you live from Covington. escape from prison today? I think I remember seeing that on the news, but we're fine. Is Katie home? Yes. Now stop worrying. I'm not worrying. I'm just thinking about it. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to go start fixing dinner, and we've got nothing to worry about. Okay. Can I help you? Hello, ma'am. Yes. Uh, my name is James Roper. I uh, am on a business trip and my car broke down on the highway a few miles down the road. I would call for help, but I don't have service and I don't have anywhere to stay until a tow truck can come. Oh, my. Well. What's up? I, um, Hello, sir. This man's car broke down and he needs a phone to call for help and a place to stay for a little while. So I was thinking maybe he could stay here. Um. Could you give us a minute? What about the escaped convict? Oh, that was hours ago. Well, they must have caught him by now. Plus, look at him. Does he look like an escaped convict to you? Trust me. Uh, you're welcome to stay here. You can use one of our phones and stay here until someone comes to help you. Well, thank you very much. And uh, you can use my phone. Uh, while I finish fixing dinner, and when you're finished with your call, we'll eat, and uh, we're having pie for dessert. Oh, well, thank you. So what was it you said you did? I'm a sales rep. What do you sell, Mr. Roper? <laughs> Please, call me James. But I work for a company that sells heating and air conditioning units. That's cool. <laughs> Katie, you know the rules. No phones at the table. I'm sorry, but look at what Liz just sent me. He escaped today. Look at his face. It's a birthmark. Katie, um, that's, that's, that's a convict. That's, that's not Mr. Roper. He's, he's a sales rep. Um, Mr. Roper, I'm, I'm so sorry for my daughter's impolite. All right, nobody move. Oh, God help. I said don't move. You lied to us. Rebecca, lying is key to survival. Okay, but, but Jamie, listen. We Don't but about... Jamie me. To be honest, I hadn't planned to hurt you when I got here. You're not going to kill us, are you? Huh. Well, someone's got to pay the consequences for your actions. How can you trick us like this? Rebecca, you knew the danger. You tricked yourself. Hey, listen, Jamie, we can talk Shut through up. this. You should have stepped up to protect your family when you could, but clearly, you don't wear the pants in this house. So, are you going to kill us? Katie, be quiet. Oh, let the girl speak. This might be her last chance, too. But why? But why? I think you should ask yourself that question. You knew the danger. You saw the news. You heard the warning. And still, you thought all would be okay, completely disregarding the threat that lurked right outside your door. 
You were playing with fire by welcoming me in, and do you know what? Fire burns. How can you be so dark? Dark. Dark. <laughs> I'll show you dark. There is a place of quiet rest near to the heart of God, a place where sin cannot molest, near to the heart of God, O oh, Jesus, blessed Street.